Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duels. Today is Monday, and that means we're using Medoches, but Lunar is not here. So because Lunar is not here, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and try something new. And the thing I'm going to try something new with Medoches is that I wanted to go ahead and um, try uh, making my own Medoche deck. And, you know, testing theories out against the deck and stuff like that. Uh, you know, just seeing how things go. So there's a couple things uh, that are about Medoche decks that I like and I don't like that people do. Uh, one of the things that I like that people do is that some decks run the hands. I think that running the- wow, alright. Uh, uh, I think that running the hands in Madoche is actually an awesome idea, and I think that it really does, um, help out the deck by, you know, running the hands in Madoche. Uh, you know, you're not always going to get, uh, Angeli. So, okay, so we're clearly going up against the, you know, the, what, the Dark Magician Prisma deck of illness. You know, you won't always get, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, and, you know, uh, and Jelly. So, you know, you have to go back to the core concept of the deck, which is pretty much getting some monsters in the graveyard for Hootcake to go off with Mewfully when you know the time comes when you don't have angelic and you know there are some cards that are just hell yeah just go straight with that because that is fucking genius and hands is one of them in my opinion that uh mm, is it worth it i'll take the damage on the chin I'd rather have that fizzle. No, whatever. So just being able to, you know, uh, you know, have those monsters in the graveyard. You know, it used to be a Frank Veiler, used to be Maxi, and Maxi's still good. Maxi is still a, a pretty good play that you can use. But uh, you know, the hands, they put additional pressure on your opponent. They put monsters in the graveyard. They, you know. Uh, Get rid of your opponent's resources, you know, having them use uh, their back row and stuff on, and so busy using their back row on stuff like that, that they're not really paying attention to, uh, you know, really uh, waiting for the Madoche play. So you can either hit the hands with your back row, or you hit the Madoches with their back row, but you know, still, you're going to be using it. Uh, another play that I kind of like in this deck is using Vanity's Emptiness with Trap Stun, because I just feel like this deck kind of just really brings out that full potential of, uh, you know, uh, you know, that kind of play, where you just, you know, flip up Vanity's Emptiness, stun everybody, including yourself, but also your opponent, take the little slow, and then just go ahead and flip up trap stun, go off, you know, do all your Madonche plays, and then pass it back to them, and when you pass it back to them, it's back to, why'd I play that? I played Solemn Morning. I didn't mean to play Solemn Morning, I meant to play Torrental. Ah, uh, I'm bad. But I, I was so busy talking that I wasn't paying attention. I meant to do Torrental. Really did. Fuck. I'm pay I've just paid additional life points for, to stop a fucking curry bandit. Which I could have just easily stopped with Torrental. <sighs> Why? That was so bad. Alright. So, you know, just having that kind of like trap stunnish vanity's emptiness stun available, I think it's just a pretty cool idea. But god, why the fuck did I do that? I, re I totally meant to hit Kate Torrent. I was, uh, in my head, I was like, Torrento. Then I saw that that warning flip up, and then I take 2000. I'm like, fuck, wrong card. Fuck my ass, no. <laughs> uh, this is the lineup that I, I choose that I like. I like the, the two failed spells. But I guess you can drop it down to one now since, uh, you know, the whole new way that, I mean, the new ruling with the field spell, so. But no, I don't want you to, you know, do Curry Bandit, then of course you're probably going to get, like, a Soul Charge, so I'm good. Uh, who do I want? Yeah. So Mewfully, get back you. 
No, stop asking me. I decided to go with uh, three terminus suits because A, I couldn't think of what to run because, uh, you know, uh, Insta Fusion's not in here. And, uh, why not? This deck can pump out three. You know, especially being able to just recycle these two over and pretty much over and over again because my field spell. So, next turn, I can go and make a freaking another Tiramisu. So just having that power to make, you know, multiple Tiramisu. See, and this is why I had still had the wish I still had the warning. I wanted to Torrental my own field. I'm still not a big fan of Torrental, but I decided to just throw it in here because why not? It's throw a card. And the one time that it would actually been useful, I fuck it up and I used the wrong card. You know, the Torrental would have been great and warning not so much. I just fucked up. So since Lunar's not here, wow, you have nothing. You have nothing. It's shocking. So I guess I'm just gonna end this duel. You have nothing. Well, that's shocking. You must have opened up like poop. You must have drew all your Dark Magicians, I guess. We'll get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, let's try it again. So besides the misplay, everything pretty went uh, fine. And I opened up like this. Alright. <laughs> Alright. This is the way that you want to open up. Who's going first? Me? No, you. Okay. So no Madoches, no nothing. I only run one of this, drew it, and with no Madoches in hand, like the struggle is real. Like I'm gonna have to take some damage to the chin and stall out with some background, because right now it is not looking good. Well, I got vanities, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Set this. Set this. So this just scared the shit out of my opponent, even though I really don't got shit. Cause in the deck, the majority of the deck is monsters. Like I'm gonna do a deck profile of it at the end of this video, and you'll see the majority of the deck is monsters. Um, you know, some people are debating on whether to run. Uh, what are we going against? Uh, End Dragoon or Destiny Heroes, but it looks like maybe End Dragoon. So I'm guessing this is Defender. So go ahead and play that Polly. I'll vanity these I'll vanity these empty the shit out of that bitch. Nah, no, that's fine. Drew a lot of cards that are you know, I've run it one. One, one, one well, no, not one. One, one, one. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, if I can summon a beater, fuck it. Uh, some people debate between running 2v chain and 3v chain. I'm a proponent of 3v chain. I say if you're gonna fucking do it, then do it. And Konami didn't put him down to, to 2, do it. You know? Because, well, see, look, even now, you won't always draw them. And right now, I wish I I wish I had one of the hands. You know, I wish I had one of the hands, but I don't. You know, and the struggle of not was just real. Diamond dude, I didn't care. Yeah, that's fine. Pot, okay. Well, he's getting a free pot next turn, and he can special summon still. So that's good, I guess. We are just taking this duel super slow. Alright, well, I got Who Cake. Who Cake with no food at all, nor will it have any food in the upcoming future. Oh my god, this is the, the majority of this deck is monsters, I kid you not. There's not a lot of back row. Yeah, I keep trying them. You know, I just like, you know, the multiple hands, the multiple putting your opponent in pressure situations, and you know, I don't mind drawing them. It's still a one for one. You kill my hand, I pop one of your cards unless you play smart out of it. You know, so, even when it's not the right time and the hands can't really go off and there's nothing else to grab, you know, I totally don't mind the hands. So, I mean, do I mind them when they're against me? Of course, because the hands are freaking just really great cards, but, uh, sure. There's a reason why no one runs different dimension capsule, because if I MST that shit, you're never getting that card back. Which I'll probably do, because clearly you want to get something to go off on me, and right now I can't allow you to do that. Plus I got traps done, so... How about you just never get that card back, okay? 
You want Kamikaze with me? No, you just want to pass it. Okay, like I said, I'm thinking this is Defender. Uh, this is another thing that I'm trying out is the construction signal because I feel like this card is really good in Madochas as well. Uh, when your opponent requires an attack, you special on this card from your hand. If you do, change the attack to this target, and this card can't be destroyed by that battle. So pretty much, you just go summon it, block, and it's a level 3, and it has synergy. So this is kind of like with me usually coming if I had a monster in the graveyard. As I'm saying, that's why I like the hands, because if I had the hands right now, at least one of them in the graveyard, I could be able to go off with Tiramisu. But nope, can't do that right now. So, as a defender... No, it's another Sparksman. Okay. I was hoping it was Defender so I could draw more. Like, sure, I don't care. Keep Defender on field. I need to draw, but nope. He just decided to let it go, so. There's a Fire Hand. Yes, Fire Hand. Yes. So happy I drew that. Like, you don't know how happy I am. Not only do I get to go and do this. Ice Hand's not as useful, especially since he hasn't sent me back row. The fuck is that, Dunker? A black guy? I'm probably going to exceed these two. No point in leaving Ice Hand if he's not going to set any back row. And I already got my monster that I wanted in the graveyard anyway, which is Fire Hand, so next turn I can make a Tiramisu. So, who... who uh, no one's really generic. This guy, he's back in there, of course. Ah... Uh, Heartland, you really can't do anything. Really? Eh... Mm, uh, really, no one can do much of anything right now in this current situation. I don't want to do Cowboy. Heartland, I don't got any face up anything. Usually I would have like one field spell or something, but nope. Eh, fuck it, I don't care. I got the background to protect anything that I need to anyway, so I'm fine. Yay, he quit. I didn't even do any Madoche combos. Alright, I'll get one more duel then the deck profile, so be right back. Alright, so one more duel. I really don't care. You want it? <sighs> fine, fine. I was about to say, I really don't care. Okay, well, Sand is awkward. And really not worth me uh, really overextending, really. Oh, not really. So I'll just set these two. No. There's no point in me playing the Ice Hand. I'll take the damage on the Shinlehem setback route and then do Ice Hand. Then, now, he just going like, Ice Hand! Oh, I hope he sets him back row before he attacks. It's no, it's no, thank you. I'm getting Night Sure. <clears throat> oh, this deck. Mm-mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. Fucking, fucking, fucking Infernities. I hate Infernities. They're like one of my most hated decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that might be my most hated deck of Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. Now I think about it. I am planning on winning this duel, so... Might as well use the messenger lotto that I drew. Kill your Armageddon Knight. Unless you want to play some kind of back row. Nope. Okay. Because the Fern Deeds are just that kind of deck that just that could, that could, that could, that could just suck my left nut. That could suck my nut. I hate that deck. No, that's fine. So you just want to stall the fuck out right now? Uh, I could make a black ship. I could trap stun and make a black ship. No, not a terrible idea. 
Yeah, I think I'll do that. Wire tap. Oh. That's fine, I guess. He wanted to wiretap the shit out of it. God, wiretap is such a great card. He must have something up his sleeve. He just really wanted me to use traps done. He was just like, hell no, hell no, that traps done. I'll play this traps done then. Wiretap it again? Oh my god, yeah, wiretap it a fucking again. Fine. Fine. Oh god, fucking wiretap. Fucking wiretap too goddamn strong. I don't do anything now. It's just driving me crazy, like stop wiretapping. God, wiretap is such an good but annoying card. Every single time I do a play, nope, nope, nope. And now I'm just waiting. Hmm. Okay. Like, where are my wiretaps? Yeah, I'm running traps done and wiretap because wiretap too fucking good. I say pretty well, in every deck you should at least be running two because wiretaps are just so fucking good. I didn't know he was gonna get double wiretap though. Who would have thunk that? Hoping that I draw my trap stuns again. Cause right now, we are just sitting here looking at each other. What do you put into the graveyard? Wow. All right. What do you put in our graveyard? Start, Jin. Uh, did you put a uh, archfiend in the grave? Oh, now he is. Nope, he's gonna put uh, uh, this to search the field spell, right? Oh no, he can search for an Archfiend. Nope, he's just gonna search for Infernity Archfiend, alright. Mm hmm. Yep, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I was gonna be making lava the chains and he's just gonna be going stupid right now. Watch this shit. Oh god. Oh god, I am going to get it. I am going to fucking get it. Oh my god, I hate infernities. <sighs> Level of chain. Um, uh, now we sit here and watch this guy play with himself for the next couple of minutes. So enjoy. can suck my left nut. I swear to god, I hate this deck. Hate it. Hate it. One of my most hated decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank god I have fucking ice hands. So, I don't care about this. I'll let this go. I'm going to space these two. I'm going to use my eyes hands to make an exiton. You want to go ahead and play your break? Go ahead, because I'm going to wipe you fit shit anyway, so. Then he'll probably quit. Because these two. These two I don't trust. I know everything except for these two. So I got two MSTs. Throw them at that. Oh, 
Okay, I don't care about that. That has nothing to do with hindering my plan right now. Are you almost done? Like, oh my god, it's a fucking marathon-ass Infernity. This is why I hate Infernity! All they do is sit there and play with themselves, and all you do is sit there and watch them fucking jack off! Like, oh, Infernities! Look at me! Look at me! Like, god, hurry the fuck up! You done? You should be done, because you shouldn't do anything else. You shouldn't do touch these two, because you need them for freaking barrier. Are you fucking done? No, you're actually going to exceed with them. Okay, so your barrier is useless. Oh, you're just going to turn Necromancer to attack mode. Wow, ballsy. Ballsy as fuck. I'll get rid of that one. I'll get rid of that one. No, it's just Soul Charge. Alright, so... Watch this be something to stop me. Break it. Go ahead. Break it. Oh, solemn warning. Sure. I love to use ice hand effect. Yeah, it says in my possession. So, yeah, you still get hit. The only struggle right now is that I think I'm... Even, I'm gonna be even with him in the resources. Ah, oh, fuck. So I can't even, and because of that, I can't even fucking, wow, so I did MST the wrong shit. Because now I can't even fucking Exoton his ass, because now he's up on fucking, um, I mean, if I summon an XC, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, to his 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, oh, I can't even Exoton right now. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can attach XC material from this card, change that monster to face down defense position. Okay, so pretty much it's Exiton or Bust, because if I special summon anybody else, it's just going to put me down. Oh my god, like, of course I hit the wrong fucking card. That's annoying. And back to a marathon ass turn. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And people wonder, Daniel, why do you hate Infernities? Because this is all they do. You just watch them play with themselves. And the deck has existed for so long. Like, people hate Geargia for existing forever. This deck has existed forever! It's still annoying as fuck. Sure. Hell yeah. Don't care about you, don't care about you, so I guess I'll say pop this bitch. Yeah, I'll special summon. You can go ahead and kill it if he wants. Just another monster on the field, more deck setting for me. If I could just get a fucking hoot cake or a fucking angelly, I'd be fine. No, that's fine. So he attacks, so I'll just pop you. Totally don't mind. At least they're monsters. So I guess I'll use Ice Hand since right now Ice Hand is doing shit. Make a fucking one to one. Eat that bitch. Kill that bitch. And then he'll be in top deck mode. That's what's up with him trying to do these things. They're like a one trick pony. Like you pretty much stop them once and it's over, and then they're in top deck mode. But most of the time when I do Inferno, he's like, top deck so hard, so he'll probably be like, Ch Archfiend, Arch, Necromancer, and be like, okay. Upstart. Don't 
Dark Reffer. Okay, well, at least he didn't top deck into anything. Just like... Broken! So, that's fine. I used the block the ice hand. Messing fucking... Wow, where, 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 where are my monsters? Where, where is Hootcake? Where is Angeli? Like, where are you guys? Like, I haven't seen you guys all fucking duel. I would like to see you. You could probably help me win this shit. Soul charge. Nope, I win. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the deck profile. Be right back. All right, so here's the deck profile. Uh, three Magdalene, three Angeli, three Messing Gelato, uh, three Hoot Cake, because you always want to have one of them in the deck, so it's good to keep them in the deck, but I draw them anyway, so yeah. Uh, three Kitty Cat. Three Fire Hand, three Ice Hand, three of these constructing signals, because you can clearly see that they work. Uh, you know, I was hyping about how good Marauding Captain is. Uh, now nah, this guy, this card right here, you know. But the reason why you're probably wondering, well, why don't you use it then when you're uh, dealing with Lunar? Because I would summon it, and it would be on the field for Lunar. You know, if Lunar was playing this, and he could drop it during his turn and have it for me, then that'd be great. You know, but, and then I also gotta wait for a whole nother opponent's turn. And it's just not... Single, it's great. Tag, it's not. It's not. So, yeah. I uh, decided to drop these each down to one because, you know, the whole new filter rule and I can search them really easily with, uh, you know, just going off with these two and I really only need one. I uh, decided to put an MST down to two because I wanted to put two wiretap because wiretap is too good and I feel like you should be running at least two wiretap in every deck because you saw how good that wiretap was. I just wanted trap stun. All I wanted to do was trap stun Nixie and he was like, nope, wiretap, 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 wiretap. I wonder if he was running two or three. I didn't save the deck and look at it. Oh well. Um, two vanities. Trap combined with, uh, combined with the three traps done, which I was hoping I would get later in the door. Just go trap stun and go off, but nope, never got it. Um, decided to run one of the Madoche Palooza. Uh, I've never used this card, but, you know, it's good to have one in just in case you need to just go, and just go, <laughs> and go off. You know, um, the ones of, uh, I don't, I don't have any effect negation. I kind of feel like, uh, generally when you're negating, negating effects and negating to, you know, from your opponent to overextend special summon, that's why I have vanity, so pretty much my vanities are my effect negation, and then two wiretap, because wiretap is so powerful, you know, just even be able to wiretap your opponent's wiretap to allow your card to go off is just so good, so, and you can clearly saw, I just wanted to trap stun, I just wanted to negate traps, and he decided to negate my trap, then negates traps with his trap that negates my trap. <laughs> Alright, uh, didn't make a side deck, because I don't care about this deck. Uh, actually, that three, uh, Tiramisu's because I can whip out three. And this that can whip out three because you just recycle just kitty cat and jelly put it back in and jelly put it back in your hand, put it back in your hand. Make another one next turn, make another one next turn. Yeah. You know? So I kinda of feel like if you can whip out your boss my like that, why not? Um two Levier and two in X Ever Invokers, because you know, you might go either or it's nice to have them. Uh one Zenonese just in case, black ship, cowboy, uh X time. Uh, still some roaches going back up in popularity definitely with uh you know light ruler really running around being one of the top decks you know it's good to have roach come back and just be like no jd no bls no 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 so yeah uh one abyss dweller one heartland didn't use it but i'd probably take it out for something else i don't know i was i i, I like I, I slapped this deck together and like less than Less than three minutes. I was just like this, 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 done. Slap the extra deck together. Just put all the. I was like, here's my toolbox. Set my toolbox down. Opened it. Take everything out of my toolbox. Set that aside. Take the cards that you need to go up with your combos. Take your boss monster. Slap that in there. You know. And then I was, I was, I was, I kind of was like, you know what? I have a spell so I might be able to spell out Heartland Draco, but yeah. So nah, it's not necessary. I kind of feel like I'm missing something, but I just don't care. And 101, because why the fuck not? It helped me. Alright, so, this is the deck, this is the fun deck that I made, because Lunar wasn't here, and I wanted to try out Madoches, and what I believe would be a nice, uh, you know, kind of competitive version of the deck, and it was okay. Like I said, you could see clearly that the majority of this deck is monsters, yet I wasn't trying that. Like, where were you, or you, or you in this duel? Like, you, you, and you would have been so helpful. So helpful. I, I had the hands in the grave. They were ready to go. They are like, hey, you only draw on jelly? You just draw who cake? That's fine. The hands are in the grave. They are ready to go. You can summon Tiramisu. Just never do it. Like, oh my god. And then I do where I opened up with all traps, pretty much. Like, wow, alright. Alright, so, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duels. Um, Luna should be back, and also Luna wasn't able to join me for Pokemon either. So the next couple episodes of Pokemon, I believe, like the next three episodes of Sienna is just me and not Lunar because he, he's on vacation. More power to him. He just got out of school. Why not? 
Um, so we've got a couple things upcoming on the channel, so yeah, be sure for that. Uh, you know, Thursday is, the, of course, the live stream celebration. Come join me for that. Um, you know, if everything goes all right, I, know, I might even record... Uh, you know, because I, you know, despite the day that the live stream going up, despite that, I still got to record for Friday. So if I got to record for Friday, uh, you know, I I can maybe go ahead and record Vitamin Wine Daily Duels. Maybe you know, well, what would be Friday? Friday is uh, Stanti, so I, I could he'll be there, so I can do that. And uh, Friday is uh, what uh, Supervise? You guys probably want to see a lot of Supervise either way, so that's fine as well. Um. The Vitamin Y 300 episodes coming up. Um, if you haven't seen the video already, it's like the the main video, the celebrated video right now on my channel. So pretty much go to that, voice through your opinion on uh, which Vitamin Y dead profile you want to see on the day that uh, Vitamin Y Forever episode 300 goes up. So and whatever one gets the most, I will go ahead and do the deck profile of that. Uh, what else? Uh, the whole map thing, that's also in that video, pretty much. Uh, people have been taking the images of the map, and I said I wasn't going to print any out anymore, and then you won't find them anywhere else. I'm printing them, because they're cute like that, because they feel like they won't win, or they just don't want to, you know, take the chance and have fun with it, so they want to just be cheeky bastards and want to print my map, which totally shouldn't be allowed, but, you know, they, they just take the image and print it off, so, I guess, whatever. So, to make the three maps that are being given away, just... You can't get them anywhere else. I thought that maybe it would be cool if I signed the mats. So if you are the winner of the map, go ahead and message uh, what, how it's going to work. Is if you're the winner, go ahead and me YouTube message me your email. I mean, not your email address, your address so I can mail it to you. And then say yes, sign it, or no, don't sign it. And I, I will do it accordingly. All right, so that's this is a long video, but uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Love you all. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tagging with Tiago using that Star Sephir Satella deck of, yeah. See you next time.